What's up everyone? Let's talk air gun marketing. Yeah. Or lack of marketing. So there's a lot of air guns that in the bullpup uh, arena that just start blending in. It just starts getting really, really confusing on which one to choose. You know, we had the Brococks and the Day States. Obviously they had the FX impacts and the Taipans and uh, Uruguay's Vulcans, you, you name it. There's a ton of them. And I get questions a lot, as you guys know, uh, on which one, which one be better. And, and quite frankly, there's so many, it's, it's hard to give out any advice. And then I ask you guys. So my call to action is if you could put down why you chose that gun over the other guns, what solution or what problem does it solve that the other air guns don't, or just, just in case, what do you feel that it does better? Because here, here's the deal. This, this video is going to be about the lack of marketing or, or not being really clear on what these air guns do. And I'll start with the day state Delta Wolf. Now I heard about this gun two years ago and I looked at the blog. If we go out to the, to, to the main site, cause this is what I looked at, you know, I was just kind of, okay, let's, it's got the gun. It's kind of cool white background. The Delta Wolf Delta Wolf is an air rifle of the future here today. Okay. I guess a little bit of hype there. Future proof for tomorrow. All right. Not sure what it does yet. Delta Wolf is the first day state to adopt an advanced tactical form factor that has proven popular with shooters across multiple disciplines. So basically you're saying it's a bullpup that everybody else is doing, right? Then Delta Wolf is the first smart air gun that can automatically adjust to suit the shooter's needs. Still, do not know what it actually does and the advantages. And it's kind of like this. Think of Magna. Whether you like Trump or not, he came out with a slogan. He came out with that vision, make America great. Yeah, again, right? It's catchy. People see it. That's, that's what he's running on. That's what you're doing. So what does your product do? Different. And, and this, we're going to go over Vulcans and some day states. I'm going to give you analytics on some of the searches and, and everything. Some of the tools I have. But this is... The weird thing, when I called up Air Guns of Arizona and asked him about some different rifles, the guy pointed me the Day State Delta Wolf. And I was like, uh, what? Well, yeah, it's just like the Red Wolf or the Pulsar I used to have, right? Well, no, you can automatically adjust. You can automatically adjust your velocity to the gun. It's got a chronograph in it. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's got an onboard, full onboard computer. You can adjust your velocity. You can do this. You can change your barrels. You can do that. And it's like, whoa, all right. He goes, well, here, I'll send you a website link. And we explain it more in detail. And I watched it. I was like, really impressed. I bought one. But that was, it shouldn't have to be that, right? Like marketing, like my graduate professor for one of the marketing classes, like he would have ripped me a new one with this kind of marketing. Like literally, bottom line up front, what does it do? What problem does it solve? We got a lot of guns out there that, that it's like building a better mousetrap. It doesn't do anything. You're like, okay, what does it do? So this, a slogan would this be self-tuning gun. World's first self-tuning gun. Never needs tuning. Always in tune. That kind of thing. Hey, you just kind of list it. No need for a chronograph. Have a chronograph with an X out mark. That kind of stuff. Hit them up front with what it does right away. Because through this, I've had a couple pages. I still do not know what it does. And there's other air guns as well. So we'll go to Ed Gun Leshy. This one kind of drives me mad because I... I like Ed Gun. I like Ed Gun Leshy. Ed Gun Leshy too. This changes everything. How? <laughs> How? Like it's a cool looking gun. And then they market it as a truck gun. I'm like, dude, this is a $2,800, $2,500 gun. It's more than a truck gun. It looks like a Ferrari. You know, the gun looks awesome. It's not something you put in the back of your truck and beat the crap out of it. So for me, it'd be like, Light on weight, heavy on power. Uh, back, the most backpackable, powerful, accurate gun possible. Just hit them with those bullet points instead of just kind of a question where they actually say, well, how does it change everything? Let me go out and cipher through the things. And that's the thing. A lot of these air guns are making comments like it's this, but you got to prove it. You got to show it because you already got competition there from all these rifles that are doing great stuff. So let's go to the scout. This is another electronic gun I'm kind of interested in. It's a little better. Now, yeah, the Scout, oh yeah. Go to here, the value is versatility. They're talking about competition ready, 
magnetic lock, blah, 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 adjustable. And then they say, here's, here's some of the things that jump out. But to me, again, not the greatest marketing. Shooting projectiles, same platform, more affordable, yeah, kind of questionable. Has very few wearable components, simple maintenance, assurance, lifelong with minimal downtime. Okay, great information. Sum it up on a page. It doesn't leak air. It doesn't break. Always uptime, consistent maintenance, consistently in tune. Something like that that you're going to hit better than another. Give them, give them a, a broad update, simple design, like that, right? So let's go to the Vulcan. The Vulcan is really mysterious. I go out on their website, look at it, and they just got a bunch of blurbs. Again, a lot of guys on this forum talk about loving this gun. I kind of would like to look at it too, but it's like two grand. They're hard to get. I'm not sure what I'm getting into. I know it has like a CZ barrel or something along the lines, but the only thing I can look at is modified sound mod modified sound moderator, adjustable power plenum. That sounds interesting, but I don't really know what it's like unless I dig into it and some other parts. So they show some things there. Let's go to, yeah, that's it. We got, we got some other ones too, but I think you guys get the point. It's, it's all blended in together. Now let's let's look at some of the marketing on Airgun Nation. I get you guys triggered here, but let's look at FX right off the bat. Utah Airguns FX. It is FX Crown Make Two 22 Cal, the king of RMAC, and it's got a dude there with twenty thousand dollar check. Next, I think is Justin from the Utah Airguns. Bam, hits him in the face. You want to get, I mean, the gun looks awesome. I kind of want it. Kind of want something like that, something accurate. I love the longer barrel stuff. And it just hits him like, hey, how can you go wrong? How can I go wrong? The thing, run, freaking one RMAC, dude. <laughs> I mean, right? Like, why not? Why not? So here's the deal. Let's go through some of the Google Analytics and we'll talk about the marketing there. So we'll go from, from the least to the, the best. We'll look at YouTube videos mentioning the brand. Okay. First scout scout air guns has like only 800 subscribers. It's very low. Like I, this, this dude here talking about absolutely nothing has more than that. Right? So number of videos in this search. So I, I subscribe to a service that allows us to kind of see some of the Google analytics and, and the searches and that, and we have 1,300 videos kind of with some of the search wording in scout air guns. Not a lot. That's, that's not a lot. And, and it's to be thought they're new. They're new. They're going to get more good RTI, RTI air guns. I, that's another one I'm kind of interested, interested in monthly searches, 1,300, not a lot. And then 76,000 videos, uh, with these RTI ons in, in the video, which probably some of those are mishits, but just get you Let's go up to Edgun, Edgun Leshy, Edgun Air Guns. 79,000 videos in the search result. Then we go to Day State. Day State's, you know, their the subscriber is a little low overall. Um, 92,000 videos in the search results. Okay. All right. Now let's go to the Hustler. Let's go to the, the, one, the one that everybody knows about FX, FX Air Guns. 1.32 million videos, search results in there, 131,000, uh, monthly searches on FX air guns. That tells you that's a 10 to one over any of the air gun companies that I can see on there. They're dominant They're They are crushing it. So there you go, guys. This is the marketing aspect of air guns and that. So I just suggest if any air gun company sees this and you're thinking about putting out an air gun, talk and show bottom line up front, give it to us and then show it, show if, if it's, if it's a durable gun, beat the crap out of it. If it's very simple, show swapping out the barrels. If it doesn't leak air, do something that's unique instead of building a better mousetrap or a a modular gun like everybody like that. We got the bro cocks and we got everything that's, it's just mixed up in all the noise. And if you look at winning us guns or winning us company in the guns and all that, you're going to see some pretty astounding results.
But then again, guys, I want to see, I want to know what your favorite air rifle is, why you bought it, because this helps me. Because if someone says, oh man, it's a super simple design, doesn't leak air, that gets, that piques my interest. And, and, or if it's really shot count efficient and you don't need to like big tanks, that piques my, my interest as well. Or lower pressure, you can do tons of shot on low pressure and you don't need, maybe you could hand pump it. That kind of stuff is what people want to see. Solve solutions. If you look at the solutions of where you're, where we're looking at, does it solve it with power? Does it solve it with adaptability or maintenance or precision or the PSI and what it needs? Does it solve those issues? And then I think you got yourself you got yourself an end road right now because it's really busy. There's going to be a lot of guys I think are going to be falling off the, the mark here in the next few years. But yep, hopefully guys, you guys will comment, question, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.